Welcome to the first episode of Beyond Ooh. the Tap. It is, it's here. It's finally here. Yeah. Can you believe it? No. This is a show <laughs> that brings you the best in craft beer, wine, and spirits. And we are filming right here yeah. in Northwest Arkansas. Who are so, you? I, I'm me. <laughs> yeah. I'm Brian Crum. What about you? I'm uh, Bianca Montoya. Sweet. And you know we're getting together. We're gonna get educated. Be inspired, celebrate the people who are making it happen. Distillers, craft brewers, vintners, you name it. We're going to talk to them. You said it right that time. That's good. But before we talk to those folks, we have got to give a big shout out. We have an amazing set here. Guys, what do you think of this set? Uh, This set was provided to us, uh, sponsored Mm -hmm. by EcoVet Furniture in Rogers, Arkansas. Um, They also made our bar. Yeah, and if you uh, you can't see it, listeners who are listening on the podcast, it's a lot of dark, heavy, beautiful wood. I mean, it's the kind of wood you look at and you're like, damn. Like this right here, you're not picking this up with two people. I'm no. just saying. So yeah, definitely not. But uh, yeah, so EcoVet Furniture over in Rogers, they do some incredible furniture building. Um, pretty much anything that you need, uh, mm-hmm. they do anything for homes, for offices, you name it. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, we have a couple of shelves behind us on the walls over here. Uh, what, what do you have behind you? Yeah, I have the Twenty Town Winery behind me. We're going to be hanging out with them in future episodes. And they're pretty dope, and the shelf is beautiful because of them and their help to Absolutely. us. Yes. And uh, we also have Natural State Beer Company Yum. over my shoulder. And uh, consequently enough, they're actually our uh, yeah. our guests today. Yeah, they're hanging so, out with us today. Yeah, so get ready because yeah. we're going to talk beer on our very first episode of Beyond yeah. the Tap. Yeah, so. we're going to welcome uh, Mark and Dara. Dara. No one mess her name up. Yes. I did it earlier. I'm embarrassed. It's not Dara. It's okay. Dara. And she's it's, dope, so... It's not Dara the Explorer. It's that Dara is, the Explorer. That, no, backwards. Dara the Explorer. She'll explain later. She'll explain later. All right. <laughs> so, well, tell you what, let's go ahead and get him out here. Welcome to the show, Mark and Dara. Woo! Woo! I'm glad you're here. We're going to make sure and put some sound effects over that part. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah. Welcome. There are huge yeah. thousands of audience members here, which is great. Yeah, it's a big crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome to the show. We're excited to have you all on season one. And yeah. I know you've been giving the, the dirty eye over here to this fridge because we got a special moment at the end of the <clears throat> We do. Yep. 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 We have to break that in. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that yeah. said. Let's get rolling. Yeah. Let's, yeah, we're just, yeah, we're just hanging out. We're getting to know our new friends. Uh, can you tell us a little bit like, about Natural State Brewing? Yeah, we certainly can. Yeah. Do you want to go? I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> All right, sweet. So Natural State Beer Company is a uh, lager-focused brewery in northwest Arkansas, Village on the Creeks and Rogers. And uh, it's got a really nice tap room. Uh, it's a ta- tap room-focused model, so we really built the brewery around the tap room. So we've got some great views. We've got some great uh, uh, water to look at. Um, we've got lots of wood, although this bar is really nice. I am a little bit jealous. You of, can't steal it. I know. It's, it's, it's really, oh, but if really... you do, we'll need four people to help you. Make it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, but we, we wanted to focus on European loggers because we felt like uh, the area, that was a niche that we could kind of fulfill in the area. Um, and we, um, we really liked the idea of, of filling that niche. Um, one, it's one of my favorite styles to brew as a home brewer. I'd been brewing for 15 years. So when I, we had this opportunity, uh, Dan Klaus, who is a, a co-founder, uh, we approached this idea probably about three years ago, and we t- started talking about what kind of beers we wanted to brew, what we wanted to do, and how we wanted to make things work. And um, we just both ha- came along the same uh, kind of the same vision. We aligned, and everything kind of came together where we wanted to do these German-focused and European-focused lagers. Uh, we do do a few ales, uh, but they're primarily European type ales. We have like an alt beer and a hefeweizen and things of that nature. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, and I've and, and you mentioned a while ago the view and everything over there. Yes. I've definitely, I've personally drank there. I know you have as well. Yeah, right? and so. I've uh, I've had a ladies beer club event there that was really awesome. Yeah. Great hospitality, amazing brews and views, and they're right there on the greenway. So if you're into bikes, 
it is very accessible. Yeah, you can swing in there, catch a good sunset. The sunsets over that lake are fantastic. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Catch a good buzz and then get back on your bike <laughs> yes. instead of your car. Absolutely. Just kidding, we're not condoning any of that. <laughs> Safety first, Uber, Lyft, sponsor yep. us, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, okay, so you're, you're, you've been going here. You said the conversation started about three years ago. Have y'all always been in beer? I mean, what's, what's your background? Like, what's, Mark, tell me about you. What's, I'm a structural engineer by day. Okay. So, All right. uh, so you still have a full time. I still have a full time job. job. Yeah, that kind of that's kind of what kind of uh, financed a lot of this. Okay. okay. Was uh, the ability to have that full time job and still uh, be able to do this on the side. We have great people like Dara and William that uh, brew and, and and head up the front of the house. So that gives me the ability to kind of let them do their job and know that hey, it's going to be taken care of. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's. Uh, it's been a, always a dream of mine to op- open up a brewery. Uh, I think it is for a lot of people that go into the home brewing process. Um, and it was probably about the third or fourth year where <clears throat> I was getting a lot of really good feedback, entered a lot of competitions and the home brewing side of things and got a lot of medals. And so it wasn't just, oh, you know, your friends, this is the best beer I've ever had because it's free. No, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. there's actually yeah. something, something behind that it. That does make it taste better, though. Yeah, and I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, the absolutely. competition piece apart, that's cool. Did you only do that locally like, or in this region, or did you travel outside the state? Uh, we ha- I had uh, beers in several big competitions. One is the Texas uh, Blue Bonnet competition. Yeah, it's one of the largest I'm familiar home brew- with that, yeah. yeah. it's one of the largest single-site home brewing competitions in the world. And I took a gold medal in, uh, in an amber, I think is what it was. Yeah. Well done. So th- it, was, it was fun. It was fun. And I did that circuit for probably about two or three years. And then I just got tired of paying for my beers to be drunk by other people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, but it, t- I, it tends to uh, to put a damper on your own experience with the beer, right? Yeah. If somebody else is drinking it. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. But I got some really great feedback during that process that helped me h- kind of hone some of the recipes and get better as a home brewer. Awesome. Awesome. Tara, what about you? Uh, I got into beer with uh, Bentonville Brewing Company. Okay. Ooh. All right. Um, I found my love for beer with them. Yes. I didn't think I really liked beer, and being educated through that job made me fall in love with it. And then I got to Bo, to Bo, to brew the home wrecker with Bo. There we go. I like uh, the, the brewer there. The boo, and right? like mm-hmm. beer science is so cool yeah. Yeah. that I found my passion for it. And I just thought it was cool. And I love people. And so I just kind of moved up and I ended up going from the tap room into sales and selling beer and doing events. And I just, it's something I had a passion for. Yeah, and I was like, absolutely. yes, and I like drinking it, so yeah. Uh, you get to drink more beer being in sales than working behind the bars. <laughs> Believe it. That's it was a fun time. For sure. <laughs> well, very cool. So, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. What, about, like, what about us tasting and trying? Are we doing that today? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we brought some beers for you. What'd y'all bring? Yeah. We brought a Schwartz beer, which is a European dark lager. Okay. Uh, Dara has a really good way to describe <laughs> what that beer is, and if you're not familiar yeah. with it, <laughs> Wait, say, it. say the beer one more time, right. so our listeners are paying Schwartz attention. Beer. Schwartz beer. Schwartz beer. Spell it. Schwartz. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. S-C-H-W-A-R-Z-B-I-E-R? Ooh. I think, yeah. Schwartz. You got it. Schwartz. It's on the glass. Really yeah, 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 that was perfect. Good job. Yeah, there you go. And you passed the test. I was just going to say, I didn't... I don't know. <laughs> but wait, wait, what's the beer like though? For, because I mean, I feel like I am a, I'm very appreciative of beer, but my knowledge, you know, it, it stops at some point. So tell us a little bit about it. So How the way I it? particularly describe a Schwartz beer to people that ask is, it's like if a porter and an amber had a baby. Yes. The Schwartz beer <laughs> yes. got the color of the porter and like the body of the amber. I like so that. like, you I know, like amber bodies. Yeah. It's light, but it's yeah. also dark in color. Okay, awesome. And so it maybe seems to, oh, go ahead. It seems to be yeah. pretty spot on for people. They're like, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> so probably something you can lightly chug if you want yeah. to. Don't, but, but you can. I mean, sip and enjoy. It's, yeah, there's it's, no yeah, judgment. It's, yeah. it's 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 more drinkable than like yeah. a darker, heavier beer. Yes. Yeah. 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 Which I know sometimes that can be a barrier for people. So yeah. a lot of our beers are that way, and they're formulated yeah. that way specifically. Mm-hmm. Cool. Low, a little, little lower alcohol than a yeah. lot of other beers out there, and uh, really we try to dry them out, make them really drinkable. So. Yeah. We like people to crush them. I, yeah, I think responsibly, of course. Yes. Yeah, I right. responsibly, responsibly crush yeah. when I'm busy. Yeah. Yeah, especially on that patio. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say in there, and then of course you know you guys, you guys have some other fun stuff going. Well, first of all, before we go any farther, let's get a beer. Let's get a beer out there. Like, all like, right, we got, we got, got our beer fridge. Beer, beer fridge, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you want to do the Schwartz first? Yeah. Okay. The Schwartz be with us. 
Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Thanks. Thank yeah. Do we I need to get totally dad jokes? Yeah, okay. jokes. <laughs> Got it. Yay! My Schwartz is. This is my favorite part. Of the show. <laughs> I hated one. Are we out? I'm pour that out. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. We get a close Which up of that. Which one? The shorter ones? Yeah, the little ones. Oh, geez, uh, we need to open up the next can so the listeners can appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, this one too. Here, here yeah, this is make them, make right them here. thirsty. Sharing here, here's for everybody at home that's uh, that's maybe driving even right now. Yeah, and and Sober. just just for you. Yeah, right there. Oh, uh, oh it actually had a nice little spray. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I wish y'all could see the color right now. The color is really beautiful. Yeah, it's nice that's and dark. Really good. Like the wood. Like the wood that we have here. Thank you, EcoVet. Woo. Yeah. I'm yeah, I'll tell excited. you what, Mike over there at EcoVet, uh, if you guys have any projects or anything like that, um, He's good they, to go. their, yeah. their stuff is all over Northwest Arkansas. So if, if you have seen mm -hmm. some really fancy woodworking here, mm -hmm. it, chances are he's yeah. pretty high Thank you. that he yeah. had some involvement in it. Not mm -hmm. only do they build furniture, they also sell wood, just yeah. the actual wood by itself. Yeah, sometimes I just like to have that piled up in my house you yeah. know, for projects I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's your get Pinterest to it. backup. Yeah, it? it's just, you know. Yeah. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> It's all right. All right we, Pour it away. We have to oh, cheers. Wait, that, we have to cheers. cheers yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually yeah. Prost. Is what oh, we need. Prost. prost. Oh, and you clink oh, the yeah. bottom of your glasses, not oh. the top of your glasses. Oh, there we go. In Germany. Right. Yes. Okay. I'm scared. Go. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. Prost. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Here we go. No one can see anything else, so we're good. Ooh, it smells good too. I like a nice beer smell. Yes. If you hold it up to the light, see it's red. Okay. Yeah, it's like There's the amber. There's mom. Color. Yeah. We yep. see her. Yep. So we're, <laughs> if you're listening <laughs> right now and not dark. watching, yeah, I mean, we're holding our yeah. beers up to the light, looking <laughs> yeah. at it strangely. Uh, yeah. No, but it's beautiful, and this is a nice head too. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, did I say that so right? Many jokes. Is that what people say? We're gonna leave that <laughs> yeah, one hey, alone right on, now. Guys. We're putting that one down. It's only episode one, guys. We're gonna get yeah. there. So. This is delicious. So, all right, so you guys are so European loggers, a lot of different things like that. Yeah. Um, are you doing anything uh, exploratory? Yes, yes, we are doing some things exploratory. Sweet, but we're not going to share them right now. Okay. Oh, hey, that's something. Hey, that's something to look forward no. to. No, we 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 are exploring yeah. some seasonal beers. Yeah, uh, but we're staying pretty much in the style of the the German uh, loggers. Mm -hmm. um, there's some styles that we haven't explored yet, okay. uh, like the Rogan beers and the Rausch beers, smoked and rye beers. Okay. And um, we're looking at uh, a seasonal for this the spring uh, is a Kolsch, and that's one of Will's specialty beers that he's yeah. brewed when he was working with Fairwinds on the East Coast. He spent about 18 months over there as a production brewer before he came to us. So um, that is something that I'm really looking forward to because a Kolsch with a nice sulfur snap is really nice, especially okay. on a warm day. So. Yeah. All right. Well, we well, look forward to hearing more about that. Yes. So yeah. any question? Well, question on our hearts here yeah my heart is just yeah. you know always wandering but uh is is that are we expecting that summertime i like to get my expectations set right what am i looking at it's see some special um <laughs> see some specials <laughs> see no them. i mean not special well, see see this see. special awesome new brew i want to pay full price always oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, currently we have a we have our um Coffee Schwartz beer, which is um, which is uh, this, but it's with like some brother. light roasted coffee from Kabamba uh, Coffee Roasters, okay. and it's very balanced, very well done. So that's oh. one of our seasonals right now. Cool. It's our part of our unnatural series. Okay, <laughs> we call it unnatural because most of our beers are are, are brewed uh, strictly to the Rhein Heinsgebot, which is the Germ the German purity law of fifteen sixteen, okay. which says that beer can only have water, hops, grain, and yeast in it, and that's it. Yeah. So the coffee, adding that, I, we violate that by, by doing that, but uh, it's something fun that we wanted to do. Yeah. Um, but most of our beers are adhering to that uh, uh, purity law. We do have a Supernatural series as well, and the Doppelbach is yep. a Supernatural okay. series. It's 8.5% uh, alcohol, so the higher ABV alcohols, uh, higher ABV beers that we do will, ha mm -hmm. will be part of the Supernatural series. Awesome. I feel Supernatural after that. You yeah. would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I bet that's... And yeah. it's super drinkable, which Might is... Might feel like a fly. It, it, <laughs> it can be a little scary how drinkable, drinkable it is. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I love how smooth it is. Yeah. Yeah. I love so, that. so why Northwest Arkansas? What, what says, like, are you guys both from here or what? Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll let you field that question first. That um, I grew up here, yes. Okay. Represent right. and like. Now what part? Um, I grew up in Rogers okay. and I live in Bentonville now. Okay. Right. The dark, you've gone to the dark yeah, side. She's, yeah, she's locals, moved on over. Locals, there is a little bit of a rivalry, just like y'all know. <laughs> yeah. She has yes. to drink her uh, beer with her pinky out now? Yeah, uh, never. No? Okay. It's like Eagleton, right. Bentonville's Eagleton, just <laughs> yeah. saying. 
<laughs> Have you heard that? We'll talk about it later. No? Okay. <laughs> I looked at the camera awkwardly, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. There it is. That's when you add in the old ding. Yep. <laughs> She so good. okay, and for me, I've been here since uh, '95. Okay, I came down out of, out of the University of Wyoming. At, yeah, at a, a structural engineering degree, architect actually architectural engineering degree, but I work as a structural engineer. Moved down here in '95. Been here ever since. Um, didn't plan on staying, to be honest with you. Yeah. But uh, you know, we're glad I, you did. Yeah. You yeah. Here. yeah. I mean, after being here for three or four years, uh, it, it's great. We we had yeah. a family. Great place to raise a family. The cost of living's low. Totally. Uh, although when we moved here, we did not understand what a dry county meant. We, <laughs> yes, my my boss warned me about that, and I'm yeah. like, okay, well, you don't get much rain. That's fine. You know, um, we don't get much rain in Wyoming either. We're used to it. <laughs> yeah, but um, we came from an area of the United States that has a literally a bar in every corner yeah. to an area down here that has no bars and a church in every corner. So it was a bit of a shock for us. <laughs> yeah, but we we um, it's when you suddenly yeah. realize I have yeah. made a terrible mistake. <laughs> yeah, or that's no. just like, yeah. Well, that's one of the, that's kind of one of the reasons why I got into home brewing too was because it just wasn't locally available a breaking lot of the, the you know a lot of yeah, yeah. breaking the well <laughs> we, we play that song right now <laughs> I'm not sure it was breaking the law maybe no. bending the rules yeah. yeah you found the loophole found the loophole it's good but um, yeah we so we've been here since uh, uh, since 95 25 years I consider myself a local at this point yeah. um, we've seen a lot of growth uh, the engineering company I work for helped with a lot of that growth so I really feel yeah. ingrained in the community because of that and uh, that's one of the things that we wanted to do. And both Dan and I and Darren and Will are really passionate about giving back to the community. Yeah. And we've already done that a couple times already. In January, we have a program called Match Tip Mondays. Okay. So in January, those proceeds went to Autism Involves Me. Um, and what we basically do is any tips that uh, any of the beer, beer tenders get on Monday, we match it uh, and we give that a, a donation to that cause. So That's wonderful. Yeah, we we're, we're able to give. I think about five hundred dollars to to Ooh. aim. Wow, nice. on yeah, Monday nice. uh, for match match tip Mondays, yeah. and um, it, it's it's. It's a cause that's dear to me. My mm -hmm. oldest son is autistic, who actually works for the at the brewery as an assistant brewer. Nice. Right? What's He's his name? Ryan. 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 Ryan I've met. Cool. I've yeah. met your son. Yeah. He's fantastic. So, yeah. And he knows his beer. Yes. I will tell and you will that. He will always ask you. What's good? Yes, yeah. yes, you will. Yeah. yes, you will. <laughs> but I think he's finding his passion in beer, yeah. which is awesome, we'll and it's that. it's great for me to kind of pass that down and him to be a part of that. Yeah. Um, our second month in in February, we did um, Arkansas, the Arkansas Children's Northwest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're able to give them. Um, gosh, we we gave them I think almost four hundred dollars plus. We went to their a la carte mm -hmm. and served beer there. So just That's great fun. to be able to give back to yeah. to the local. You know yeah. the, the local nonprofits. Absolutely. And well, and, and that's the thing is in the beer community. The beer community is very tight, anyways. Yeah. But also, like to to hear you say, yeah, we're all about community, mm -hmm. and you truly mean the the larger community, mm -hmm. and and you're you're doing something about that. So that's really good. Yeah. yeah. So not only is it serving great beer and and making some good memories there that people will hopefully remember, uh, but you're also actually you know giving back mm -hmm. in a very direct way. So that's really Absolutely. awesome. Yeah. Very cool. So y'all heard that, people. Go visit them. Yeah. Match tip. Match tip. Is that match, match tip Monday. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I like that name too. You want to cool. play a game? Yeah. You want to play? <laughs> <laughs> I, come out, I come out far left field. You want to play a game? Cool. Yeah. yeah let's do it. Why not? All it's right. Like that scary movie. Is that I what they like say? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I have less to start with. I'm just saying. I don't even, sure. uh -huh. I don't even know yeah. if I told you that we're going to play a game, but nope. we're going to play a game. Oh, Didn't oh. tell you. Brian, what game are we did playing? Did that on purpose. Yep, we did. So we're going to play a little truth or dare here. Sure. So. <laughs> All right. You ready? You ready for this one? I feel like we're in, feel like we're in high school. Uh, I love not? it. <laughs> Youth. Okay. All right. All right. Choose. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love it. It's not. Yeah. Truth or dare. Why okay, not? Let's just do it. Let's do it. See? Truth. Ooh. All right. All right. Because right. you thought I was going to say dare, didn't you? I, I was, I, I was hoping dare. that you would be a little more curious. <laughs> I was, I what? was made fun of in the dare program a lot of times. Oh, well. hey, that oh, yeah. dare program kept well, me. It's good not place. only for you though; it's for both of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Sorry, I, I chose for both of you. Okay, no, I like right. it. No, I think right. it's good. Okay. So the mark has spoken. So it is going to be Dara. Uh, you're going to be sharing. What is your most embarrassing drinking story? Hmm. Mark, if you yeah, if Mark, you have you one that comes to mind first, question for me. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, All let's right. do this. Okay. I'll what's your to... what's your most embarrassing drinking story? Mm. <laughs> um, 
It, they also all involve vomit, I think. <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's which go. Which one do I choose? <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, let's go. Well, we got more like beer here. Vomit, let's that's talk. Where, that's where um, it sucks. No, I, I remember mine. If you need a moment, <laughs> <laughs> not so much, not so much public. Just more like riding down the interstate yeah. and throwing up on the side of a car. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah it I does like happen. Now, pattern. was that around here? Uh, no, that was. <laughs> That yesterday. was that was actually after a night of drinking at the Great American Beer Festival in Denver. Oh, oh wonderful, yes. wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that was uh, my brother's car got the better of it. Uh-huh. All right, That's, unfortunately. Is for, the older brother or little brother? Good. Little brother Peter actually. Saved it. Was yeah. he the DD? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the DD. Oh, yeah. Love your DDs, people. Yeah. Love yeah. them. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, I like that. <laughs> so. I get acid reflux really bad. Oh dear. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> no, this no be and I had drank uh, Jaeger and Tequila Sunrises okay. together, right. which is very, that very hurts horrible my soul. idea. And I ended up puking in my friend's backyard, and there was German <laughs> Shepherd on the other side, and I was like, "No, baby, don't try to eat it." Like I was oh, vomiting, God, and the dog was trying to eat it. And I was trying to kick the fence, but also hold on. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're drinking with Dara, what I'm hearing is keep, keep your, your dogs, dogs away. Keep yeah. your dogs away. We don't have Lyca in here, right? We're good. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't yeah. really vomit, but when I do, it's around dogs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, you know, I will say it, they're 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 like you know roving vacuum cleaners. So. Oh gosh, I mean, y'all. That's true. Did I go that too? Was that too far? Was that the line right there? Yeah. Well, now that we know what the line is, we can keep going. All right. So, well, do you have another? Do you do you want to do another truth or dare? Yeah. Well, I mean, we can always come back to it. Uh, on the second beer, maybe. Well, All right. maybe it's see. Or you, you, you can, or yeah, or you can flip it to yeah. us after. Yeah, Ooh, that's oh, on the good. second beer, yeah. Yeah. and the twist. So be thinking about that one then. Think okay. about that long so, and hard, yeah. hmm. just like this would. Yeah. Okay. So we've talked about how you guys get started. We talked about how uh, you you both kind of personally entered the beer scene. Um, so what what would you say sets Natural State apart from other breweries around here? Because I mean. I know you mentioned the the European lagers and mm-hmm. and that style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, is there anyone else in our region that's doing what you're doing even remotely? You know, I mean, um, and you don't have to say their names because you know they're not here, so we can. <laughs> there, there's a few other breweries in Arkansas that do brew lagers. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, and uh, they brew them pretty well. You yeah, know? and they just are. That's just kind of one of their beers in their repertoire of a bunch of other stuff that they do. Yeah. So the the, the lagers definitely set us apart. I think uh, going back to the tap room, I think it sets us apart. I mean, what we're really trying to do is is have uh, an, an, ex- an experience drinking the beer. It's not just here's the beer, it tastes great. We want it to look, we want it to look sexy. We want it to smell great. We want the music that's in the tap room to you know elevate the experience. Um, obviously, the view helps with that. But really what it comes down to more than anything else is the people. Yeah. The people that are up front, the people that are working oh. in the back. Those, that's what makes us different, in my opinion. We've got a great brewer in William in the back. Um, like I said, he came from Fairwinds. And he's taken all the recipes that I've been formulating over the last 15 years and elevated them and made, made them better. We've got Dara up at the front. She's, she's greeting people with that smile. She's brought in people. It's a nice smile, y'all, if you can't see it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. And if, you're, if you're only listening, you're going to have to go back to YouTube and watch this You later. can stalk her so. on the social. Yeah. <laughs> so many more followers after DMs. this. Yeah. <laughs> so many more followers. Yeah, yeah, just follow them, into DMs. <laughs> but, but she's put together a great team yeah. of really experienced beer tenders that have worked yeah. in different venues throughout northwest Arkansas. And... Uh, they can definitely take care of everybody up front, uh, and we what we're really trying to do in the tap room is uh, trying to do some table side service, get people yeah. uh, ex- excited, and then also not have to continually get up. That can be uh, frustrating sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, I've visited a lot of breweries over over the last 10, 20 years, and one of my biggest complaints is if you're busy, the last thing you want to do is get up and stand in line for another beer. So we're trying to alleviate that as much as we possibly can. And especially whenever you guys have some live events too, because I mean, there's there's live music there mm-hmm. yeah. pretty yeah. frequently, Every right? Yeah. So that's a that's a good thing, and I know that sometimes that can definitely be a little hard to maneuver if you're in there watching live music, and you know, it's that's nice to have you guys take care ninjas. of people. Absolutely, ninjas. <laughs> beer tender ninjas. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Binges? <laughs> binges? Is that? I feel like again. that's a good word. Yeah, yeah. I like. Yeah. I can get that started. That's funny that you mentioned that because that is something I picked up on. I was like, oh, this is nice. I get to relax yeah. a little bit, you know, and stay, you know, engaged in what I was doing. So, I like. I felt that when I was there. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So someone said something about a goose earlier. Is it? Did I read that right? 
Was there a goose? The, 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 they're gonna, this, the reason why they're no. called a goose? Uh, no. no. Uh, damn it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's no game. Am I looking at camera? What? Yeah. Yeah. So, it out. so okay, so let's let's. It's all right. Sponsor time. Yeah, sponsor time. All right. That's a good time for a break. <laughs> Sounds like a literal. good thing for me. So. <laughs> that's so funny. Now there's a rumor. Well, let's uh, <laughs> let's get out of here. And here's a word from our sponsors. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the Sip of the Show segment. This is the portion brought to you by Devil's River Whiskey. This is also where you're going to learn to make great cocktails within your own home using great ingredients that uh, you probably already have. So uh, with me today is Andy, who is our uh, great mix mixologist here, right? I mean, is that... You know what the difference between a bartender and a mixologist is? I do not know. Taylor Todd says a bartender knows how to fight. Fair call. <laughs> All right. Well, but yeah, we're going to make some easy drinks today. Um, We'll start off with Rio Diablo. Fantastic. Cool. Go for it. So we're going to start with Devil's River 90 proof bourbon, small batch. Um, it's very similar to, say, a Moscow Mule. The build is extremely similar. The only difference is instead of a Moscow Mule mug, you want to use a Collins glass. To that point, everything that we're going to do in this segment, it's meant to be well done. It's meant to be a higher end version of things, but it's something that anybody can do at the house very easily. So don't take anything... Um, that you can't do this at home. If you don't have this glass, I guarantee you that you've got a 11 to 12 ounce juice glass at the house that this will fit just fine in. Um, this is meant to be enjoyed. Drink it the way you like it. Don't think that you've got to be some kind of fancy bartender to achieve this goal. So you're gonna start out with two ounces of Devil's River 90 proof small batch bourbon. Um, if you don't have a jigger, which is what's in my left hand right now, don't sweat on that either. It's really easy if you're on a computer to Google um, a conversion chart. You've got measuring cups and spoons. They have the same measurements, they just convert. Don't think too much about it. Then you're gonna do um, half an ounce of lime juice. Now, you see I don't have a juicer. Um, I kinda did that on purpose. How many of you actually have citrus presses at the house? I would bargain that the number is kinda small. This is completely acceptable to make a drink at the house. Just squeeze it out into your jigger. Um, when you start dealing with lemons and oranges, you might run into some issues with some seeds. Just pull a spoon and pull them out, it's not a big deal but you want half an ounce of juice. Generally speaking, that's gonna be about one half of a lime. <laughs> and uh, then you're just gonna add ice to this. And top it off with a ginger beer. Um, I prefer spicy ginger beers for that purpose. Um, there's a handful of brands out there, Q Spectacular, Cock and Bull, they're all really good ginger beers for the purpose of cocktails because the spice stands up and the sweetness doesn't knock it down. And then top all of this off with a little bit of creme de cassis or your favorite berry liqueur. Um, doesn't matter what berry, if you like it and it's got a nice dark color to it, you will achieve the same goal. So you've got a Rio Diablo that looks good with a lime wheel in it. Um, float it or you can slit it and slide it down the side of the glass, it doesn't matter. And then if you've got uh, your stainless steel straws at the house, throw one in and enjoy it on the back porch on a sunny day. Cheers. All right, so if you like what you're hearing here on Beyond the Tap, make sure and head over to YouTube and uh, subscribe to us. Hit that little bell so you make sure and get the notifications every single time that we post a new uh, episode here. It's really nice, right? What are you doing back here? <laughs> and also, make sure and check us out on Apple iTunes podcast section. Uh, subscribe to us there. And uh, do you know we're also on Spotify? Yes. There's nothing in there yet, but uh, that's okay. So check us out. If you really, really like what you're hearing here, then you want to head over to patreon.com and you can actually contribute to the show and making this the awesome success that it clearly already is. And uh, throw a few bucks at us. You can earn some cool perks along the way. Visit patreon.com slash beyond the tap today to check out more. And to some of my friends who, you know, bucks may not come so quickly to you, feel free to subscribe to us. That's important to us as well. Or review us. Give us five stars. You think we're five stars? I think we're five stars. I think so. And that's just as important. So follow us. Stay tuned. There's a lot coming your way. True story. See you next time. Be on, on, on the, the tap. Tour. And we are back. Thank you guys so much again for joining us on our very first episode of Beyond the Tap. Uh, again, I am your host, Brian Crumb. 
I'm Bianca Montoya. And we've got Natural <laughs> State Beer Company here Friends. with us. Um, and it is delicious. But I'm seeing uh, we emptied our last glasses. Um, and so we, we now have a new one. Uh, would you like to do the honors on this one? Make sure and get a nice if, Yeah, if y'all can't see me, I look just like Vanna White. Aww, I look just like her. Yeah. My hair's blonde now. It's weird. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so so what are we getting ready to pop open here? Mm. This is our yeah. our German pilsner. German pilsner. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this is we will a pass it over here. This is going to be a more a more light offering than we had at the uh, with the Swartz beer. Okay. A little bit more hops to this one. Um, That's pretty. Yeah, you can go ahead and fill that up. Just keep on, just keep on going. Yeah, just, yeah. Just, I was like, why are you shorting us? <laughs> what do we do I, to you? You know I'm an adult, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can, yeah, that's good. I so, just turned 21. Weird. Oh, 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 so, oh, so, oh, so there you go. There you go. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's got a, it's got a go. beautiful Perfect. creamy head on the top of it. Ooh, it's uh, it's delicious. And it's uh, it's gonna be a little bit a little bit more hoppy a little bit more hoppy than the last beer. Okay. By design. Um, but it's one of the classic styles that most people think about when you think about um, a lager is a pilsner. Most of the okay. domestic beers that um, a lot of people frown upon uh, are pilsners. They're just, they're, the hops are much restrained. They may use adjuncts and things like that, where yeah. as the Reinheitsgebot does not allow that. So yeah. this is all, again, uh, malt, yeast, hops, and water, and that's all it is. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, thank you. Did cheers. you have a uh, cheers for this one? Yeah, I'm going to cheers to uh, to where we're at this day and age in Northwest Arkansas. We've really come a long way, and I'm really happy to have oh. friends that are <laughs> making beers. Yeah. And, uh, cheers. Uh, cheers. And uh, y'all sell beers. Prost. Y'all sell your beers on Sunday, right? We yeah. can, yes. We, we can sell four Gratitude. packs to go out of the tap room on yeah. Sundays, uh, being part of the uh, uh, a, a small brewery uh, license from ABC. Okay. That's uh, one of the few areas in Northwest Arkansas where you can still get uh, mm -hmm. beer on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Thankful. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, because you mentioned in the last portion uh, about how, you know, when you moved here, it was a dry county. Yes, and was. so obviously times, we've changed <laughs> since <laughs> then. So, so yeah, where, where can you drink on a Sunday in Northwest Arkansas now? I mean, pretty much... Well, I, th anywhere, what's a, what's I think you can drink you anywhere can you drink, want. It's you just can't buy. But yeah. taking it home, you know, package liquor stores. Gotcha. Yeah. I think Sun. I think Springdale has Sunday sales, and maybe mm -hmm. a Voca. And of Jane, course, Missouri. Jane, if you go to Missouri, anywhere in Missouri, Missouri uh, gets uh, weird. Y'all don't go. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> Northwest Arkansas all the way. Yeah. When I lived in Bella Vista, that's the only place I went was up in Jane. <laughs> but, <laughs> Sorry, um, Jane. But yeah, it, it, those are the only places you can drink on a Sunday. Okay. Um, you know, it it really was. Uh, back in the day, back in the day, that was a um, Wednesday, by the way. It was Bulls, well, Bulls yeah. seven years ago. <laughs> Be before the year two thousand. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to Conan O'Brien. All right, sweet. <laughs> uh, there really wasn't much uh, uh, craft beer in Northwest Arkansas. I mean, yeah. we did have Diamond Bear. Diamond Bear's been around yeah. for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, um, in you know work. Boulevard and New Belgium and some of the other uh, uh, bigger uh, regional craft breweries in, in the area, but. For the most part, it was really difficult to get uh, craft beer in Northwest Arkansas. You had to either drive, uh, make a pilgrimage yeah. to yeah. Springdale or Springfield, I should say, Missouri, or uh, Wichita. There's a place called Rob's Beer World in okay. Wichita, which was fantastic. But um, is it there, still open? Ah, I believe so. I haven't so been there in a while. Um, you might have to road trip that. But yeah, it, it's right on the way to Denver if you go into the Great American Beer Festival. That's okay. why I ran into it. So, I well, back. I feel like that could We're be another go. yeah. stop for yeah. us. Yeah. Absolutely, we'll just have to stop into Wichita. <laughs> but uh, in, in Northwest Arkansas, there was um, just a kind of a, a, a just a lack of really good craft beer just because the area one was dry and two there wasn't that many breweries in arkansas at the time yeah. Yeah. you know we had um i think the obc the o o original or um, ozark beer company or ozark brewing company i'm sorry uh and on dixon was around yeah um then you had a couple That's breweries right. in little rock yeah. Yeah. um and coincidentally um uh, we just purchased five tanks from the old obc Nice. Cool. They're, okay. They're, uh, they were the old serving tanks, and we're going to use those to lager. And we wanted to, we wanted a, some of that equipment to stay in Arkansas. A lot mm -hmm. of it was getting pieced out to other areas of the country, but we felt that would be important. It's something that we could really use too. It's going to yeah. give us the ability to, to go from thirty-five barrels a month to seventy barrels a month. So yes. it really doubles wow. our capacity. So um, awesome. that's know. pretty awesome. So you, you're you're truly setting up roots here in Northwest Arkansas. Oh yeah. I mean there is there is growth and growth and growth. Like that's oh, yeah. Yeah. that's it. I've got four kids that were born in Arkansas. Man, the roots are deep now. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's my, great. my two oldest sons, they they one's in uh, at the U of A, the other one was okay. at the U of A. Okay. So yeah, we're 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 in it for in it yeah. to win it, so to speak. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I think most of us 
like we said, we're all transplants. Yeah, Mine you're local. Yeah, you're just, uh, I'm yeah. not. Well, I oh. wasn't born here. Okay, but I, okay. Well, see, yeah, so okay, we're cool. all transplants. But you know, I think uh, I've been here for about ten years. I would consider myself a local, and I, I would yeah. I'm say we've made great strides in, in the brewery scene, just northwest Arkansas in general. The development yeah. that's happened is quite exciting, and continuing to be like this awesome thing that's happening in a vacuum. I mean, and yeah. you've traveled a lot, you have a lot of experience. I mean, I think we've all traveled, but yeah. like, how would you say that our scene measures up to other scenes? We're yeah, still very we're still very young when okay. it comes to the brewing mm-hmm. scene. Okay. Right. I mean, a lot of these other areas have been, you know, been, been in the craft beer industry, uh, you know, since the mid nineties, a lot of them, um, you know, 25 years. And really for us, it's really the last five or six years we really yeah. started taking off here in Northwest Arkansas. Yeah. You know, going from dry to wet when that law changed, opened up the door for a lot of breweries and you're, you're seeing a lot of growth from that. Um, that being said, we've got some great breweries in Northwest Arkansas. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot yeah. of them just taken off and just really are from day one are brewing great beer. Yeah, which is hard to find a lot of times. Um, a lot of times, you think of a new brewery opening and they may they may be working through some kinks. Yeah, yeah. But Northwest Arkansas has been really good at getting um, the beers out there and getting them to the crowd. And, and the thing is. The folks in Northwest Arkansas are so mm-hmm. thirsty for craft beer. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a, we've become snobs. Yeah, yeah I can't <laughs> do like it. I'm like, get that out of here. Well, yeah. and it's great you that yeah, beer, we can so now not. take <laughs> your beer home in yes. cans. I mean, you yes. can actually buy these, right? Yes. Yep, like, absolutely. You can buy the four packs. The so four packs. Four and packs on go, Sundays, yeah. if you buy them, you get a free hat. Yeah. We what? So, yes. yes. And okay, then we so do some buy. deals on Friday to start the weekend off I'll right. I'll be there Sunday. You get five dollars <laughs> off merch if you buy a four pack to go. Oh, that's nice. awesome! Yeah. I don't know of any. Yeah, that's a so great you got, deal. So you got a lot of fun stuff there. Yeah. And yeah. well, let's go back really quick. So a while ago, you mentioned you, you made the statement of uh, you know we have a lot of great local breweries here. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and just one thing that has definitely stood out to me as as I've become more educated about the yeah. local drinking scene and local uh, craft beer and everything is you guys are tight. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody shares. So, yeah. uh, you know, like we were talking a while ago uh, during the break about you know how you do uh, the like yeah, keg swaps and and different like you know tap takeovers things like that. Yeah. Tell us a little more about that. Like, how does that? Uh, how do you guys get going in that? As far as uh, you know, what does that do for you and for for the other brewery or uh, organization? Okay. You know, just talk yeah. about that. However, you want to go for it? Well, I have one side of it. Absolutely. Um, so. That was that awkward the, moment, guys. Yeah. In case, in case you're listening, driving down the road, that was the awkward Mark, moment. We're all Mark like, uh, at you, Dara, uh, like, you better uh, answer uh, this. I'm just, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So They're I love both, the, the brewing smiles. community. Like, so Hawkmoth, Bradley used to work at New Province. Yep. Moonbrook, Kyle used to sell beer for Bike Rack. Yeah. Like, it's all this awesome family that is growth, mm-hmm. and it's applauded when you move on and like go to your next step yeah and i think that is so cool because yeah. it's just like awesome that there's so much talent coming out of this yeah. area well and see yeah. we you and i we used to drink at all these places yeah and now yeah. we're running yeah. a show about, about those yeah. Drinking yeah. places. Which, yeah i mean northwest arkansas is camaraderie it's about, yeah. I mean, the people are just like i just want to help or i want to yes. be part i want to support and yeah. i, I yeah. joke and tell friends all the time i'm like open something yeah. start something because the community will show up and they're forgiving because it's like yeah it takes time to work kinks out but yeah. we're just so excited there's something new or happening yeah, I, I, I definitely well, have, I feel that. You have a question? Like someone like he he yeah. is really good friends with people at Ozark. Yeah, yeah like, Ozark's you have a question, great. Jefferson they then? answer it. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. that's awesome. Now have you ever run into a situation where you're like, Hey, we're brewing this beer, oh my gosh, we just ran out of this ingredient or we just had this <laughs> Do you have a cup uh, of sugar? D- d- yeah, can, can, yeah, can a neighbor borrow no sugar? sugar? Like you guys, it's not, it's not you guys do that? No sugar. Ab- absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And right. and you know, the, that's one of the things that I found so different about yeah. brewing mm-hmm. was just every brewery that I visited um, when I was telling them what we were doing and what we wanted to do they're like ah well come on back I'll check out the brewing system <laughs> yeah you know oh here's, here's your problem yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and you know and, and here's you know here's a bunch of beers to try and what do you guys think and yeah. it's like okay cool Four can we just bounce in. we bounce, bounce a bunch of ideas and questions off you and every single place we went nobody was like oh, I'm not, I can't I can't tell you how much we make in the tap room that's no, no <laughs> that's a, that's a secret I can't do that yeah, yeah no, they were very open and and, and welcoming and just everybody that. wanted mm-hmm. to help us yeah yeah get up on plane well, I think every, yeah. Yeah, everybody is is cheering for the other yeah. person yeah. because it, yeah. you know the, the saying goes a rising tide 
raises all boats. Right. Or, you know, whatever that goes. <laughs> yeah, I think right. that's it. Rising boats. Together. Rising, together. Oh. rising <laughs> boots. Rising tide. <laughs> how about boot? How about, how about, how about that? Oh, yeah, oh this <laughs> is the, the part is that yeah, we yeah, start I mean, going to all, different accents. It's to where we're at now, y'all. Two bears in. We're at that part of the show. The bears. They are. They're, this part of the show from Beyond the Tap is brought to you by the Bears. Yeah, Bears. we are right. now in Arkansas. We're here. We are Arkansas, not not sorry, your Kansas, uh, my Kansas, our Mark. Kansas, <laughs> our Kansas. Mark would tell his right. cool stories. <laughs> Mark, 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 Mark. It's <laughs> like a hairless dog. What's going on? <laughs> I'm laughing. Uh, right. Anyway, with great uh, yes. camaraderie amongst the brewers in Northwest Arkansas, yes. and really all over Arkansas and all over the the, the country. I mean, it's yeah. a, it's one of those things that just like I said such a unique industry yeah. it's not competition yeah uh, amongst craft brewers no I love that. to take that a step further have you done any collaborations with anybody yet oh. uh, we have not okay mm-hmm. all right is that in I mean is maybe pull back I, I would love a little to, bit I would love to be able to do that I think okay. there's some great brewers in Northwest Arkansas you heard him he's asking for it right now <laughs> are you listening like, there are some that have come in and drank and yeah. hang out though. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's yeah, yeah. And then you give them a hat to wear back to their own. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like, exactly. take this back. Yeah. But yeah. What's What's interesting with, with, with brewers is, and I found this out the first time I went to the Great American Beer Festival, my brother worked for Firestone Walker at the time, and they had won the, uh, the mid-sized brewing uh, of, of the mid-sized brewery of the year in 2007. And afterwards, I was able to go out and hang out with them and party with them, right? Well, they're not drinking craft beer. They're drinking PBRs. They're drinking lagers. Yeah. And I was like, what? What? Yeah. Hello, what? But me. you make such great beer. Why would you drink this? And it's like, dude, after a couple of those, I'm just getting so full. So I'd like, we, we like to drink the, the, the lagers. So that got yeah. kind of me th- thinking about it, kind of kind of yeah. stirring the pot for me going, wow, I wonder if craft lagers, it could be a thing at some point. But yeah, but yeah, that was very interesting to, to, hmm. to see that and, and just, you know, so what we've got is we've had a lot of brewers come in our, our tap room and, and, and drink our lagers, which we find, to me, that is what the, one of the highest honors for me. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I'm not worried about awards and you know, GIBF medals and all that kind of stuff, but just for brewers to come in and respect what we do and, and understand that there is a lot of work that goes into a lager. It takes longer. Yeah. There's not as much flavor to hide behind, and it's a more technically challenging beer mm-hmm. for, for, for the most part. Yeah. And um, they, they recognize that, and they, they drink it when they come. That's awesome. Uh, that's yeah. one of my, my favorite things to see. Well, and mm-hmm. you're talking about recognizing it. Like, you guys have a pretty, pretty like, standard logo. Like, they're like, that, that's very standard. I was say, uh, like, beg like, your like, pardon, like, sir? Like, I'm Brian! Sorry, sorry. I what I meant was, like, like, like established. That's what I meant. Yes. Like, it's very Dude, discernible. Like, plenty of yes. Have yeah. Have yes. Like, you yeah, recognize it. It's very recognizable. Recogni- Dang it. That's what I'm yeah. trying to say. Recognizable. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Whatever. We don't need it. So, so I've got more. That's the only reason I, I threw it. I want to go back to science. You have a very. Reckon, we're gonna get there. I promise. But I mean, recognizable. Yes. You know, yeah. you said you know people recognize different different beers that you make. But I mean, tell me about this. I mean, who, where, where did your your logo design come from and all that? Like, because clearly, if I see this can, I'm going to know it's you guys. So, mm-hmm. uh, tell me about that. I mean, obviously, I think I recognize what that is. But for those of uh, for those of you who are uh, watching here, let me see. I can hold that up for you. Can you but, tell um, me where? Is yeah, that? where where is this? What's what's going on with the can? The logo design. How did that get started? I believe that's Hawksbill Craig. Yes. Oh, yeah, the that's the name most of, photographed of, point in Arkansas. Well, there you go. So she's. It she's He's answered his question because that's one of the most recognizable spots in Arkansas. Yeah. Being the natural state, natural yep. state mm-hmm. beer company, mm-hmm. we, uh, we... Wait a sec. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we thought the two married up very well, yeah. uh, and we pitched the idea to, um, to Hickory Design, uh, and Ooh. they came up with uh, this logo for us, which is, you know, it's what we were looking for. Iconic, yeah. something that people recognize and immediately understand that that is, you know, Natural State Beer Company. Absolutely. So they, they designed your logo and did they do your cans too? No, Dan, Dan Klaus, our, our co-founder, he did he designed the cans himself and he's uh, he's got a, a degree in marketing. I have actually a master's in marketing, so okay. he really marries up nicely with my engineering degree. I yeah. deal with the technical side of stuff and he deals with the marketing side of stuff. and. Sorry, I realize I'm hoarding the cans over yeah, here. I'm, yeah, I'm so I just passed like, one down for those of you listening. We're just pining. Yeah, I, I like that, that there's a blend there, like you said, between you and Dan. I think that the left and right brain coming together is always a magical thing. Right. You were talking about the difficulty of brewing. I, I know we have a lot of home brewers that are listening, uh, and you know, and again, like I said, my my knowledge only goes so deep. 
like what like when we talk about time mm -hmm. and things like that kind of go dive into that a little bit for me because i want to know because when things are you know they take a long time they tend to be sometimes more delicious yeah. yes mm -hmm. yeah well we the two discernible styles of beer are there's ales and there's lagers and ale is a top fermenting yeast and the lager is a bottom fermenting yeast so yeah. those are really your i shouldn't say styles two categories of mm -hmm. of beer to that that all beer comes from so the lagering or lager yeast takes longer and then as far and you ferment at a cooler temperature to go through the entire fermentation process. Where okay. an ale may be ready in as little as two to three weeks, mm -hmm. a lager is gonna take four to six weeks. Because okay. you go through a process of fermentation, primary fermentation and then conditioning and then lagering, yeah. and it gives it uh, the ability to clean up. These these beers cleaned up pretty well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, th this is not this is not a, a filtered uh, lager, so there is a little bit of a haze to it. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful but we, we, we wanted to make it uh, you know, craft. We didn't want to mm -hmm. strip anything out of it, and some of the filtering does strip some stuff out of it. So, um, anyway, the but the lagering does take longer, um, and it is that is one of the things that uh, a lot of brewers you talk with them and they talk about tank time. How much time mm -hmm. is this beer going to be in the tank? Because that's money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, it does take us longer to produce these, more tank time, which means we can't produce as much as we could if we did all ales, mm -hmm. but. It, it's just something I just I just love lagers. Yeah. I love the, the the drinkability of them. I love that they're lower alcohol for the most part, mm -hmm. and I love the flavors. I love yeah. to bring some of these. I want to introduce Northwest Arkansas to some of the flavors that lagers can bring. You um, heard that, of, folks? Yes. Bringing it. Bringing it. So a lot a lot of you know there's a lot a lot of ales can bring some really <laughs> great flavors as well, and we've seen a lot of that. But it's the the lagers I want to bring. We've we've got uh, the Schwartz beer. That was a you know a dark lager, mm -hmm. and although it didn't drink as dark as it looked it was yeah. kind of deceptive which was fun nice. um and we've got one more beer that we'll bring out here yes. Ooh, we got All one right, more we got one more but it's so we should finish these huh <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to we have another glass yeah, we, okay. we have more glass we have we're we gonna chug so we're gonna do we're just chugging we're chugging you know what guys it's episode one i'm about to be embarrassed here we go beyond the tap let's go Woo. I won. You did. <laughs> I'm trying not to belt. Well done. Yeah. Be a lady. It's okay. It's a, if you do, make sure and go directly into the mic so we can get that for a sound bite later. <laughs> I'm going to use it as a yeah. ringtone. No, I love this. And so. you know, I love that we die. Like, I'm all about learning. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, like, if you could say one thing, Mark, to the brewers out there, like, yeah. if you were to give them some kind of, like, little advice, little tip. Nuggets, if you will. Little nuggets. Shaky nugs. To our friends, what would chicken you say? Nugs? Did you say that's, nugs? that's trending. Hashtag chicken yeah. nugs. I, I would brought to you by Chick Fil A. I wish. I would be no. <laughs> I would say if you're gonna Can be we a, get a nugget if you're gonna be a home, let me yeah. talk, people. This is <laughs> Brian. Jeez, these are our friends. Is, is, is this like your first time doing this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For people who know us. <laughs> I kid. All right. <laughs> So for the homebrewers out there, I would say if you don't like to clean, don't become a homebrewer because sanitation is really important. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. I'm sorry. You don't like to wash the dishes? Yeah. Yeah. Find another hobby because well, it's going to be, yeah. it could be really, you could have some really nasty beer. And yeah. we all, we all have dealt with that yeah. from time to time. So. Well, because there's just so many things that kind of can yeah. mess it up. Really what we nice do as, do as brewers yeah. is we just make wort. The yeast makes the beer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And no, the what, yeast. What is you, wart? What is wart? What is wart? Because I'm going to start in with something that. We might have yeah. Some, yeah, we might yeah, we have can, some beginner can, beginners listening. Yeah. Let me, yeah. let, let me come back around to wart real yeah. quick. So. Warlock. So. Warlock. Wart law. Wart law. Um, we, going back to we, we're in a competition as as a, as as, a, as brewers for, for for the wart and turning the wart into beer. So the yeast is is the one that's really competing with bacteria, because no matter how clean you are, there's always a little bit of bacteria that ends up in that product. So what you have to do is you have to make sure the yeast is healthy to rid off that bacteria, right? Yeah. It's almost like a medical procedure back there. With I, kind of yeah. and I know yeah. we, we yeah. don't have to do that deep of a dive, but like I'm so curious of like what that looks like. I mean, that's like a yeah. whole other world of things. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. We can just come by and do like a yeah. I'm just gonna come hang out. You know, Mark's like, yeah. get out of yeah. the room. Yeah, just we just go, we <laughs> go, in the back, to... go back in the brewery and, yeah. and uh, check, check it out, right? Yeah. But Let's do it. you went back and you wanted to talk about wart. Yeah, you want to circle about circle. What back is that for anyone who's listening? What's what's kind of the process of of beer? 
Okay, so just starting from kind of the from grain to glass okay. is what I what I like to call it. Is we take grain or malt, malted barley, and we crush it. We throw a crack it and put it through a mill. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. There's really? the crack crack game. <laughs> There's a crack game. There's a crack Okay. We crack it. A... We crack it. Yeah. We release the. Uh, the... Get on the head. <laughs> yeah. Back in line, Grain. <laughs> Back in line. This yeah. is just a podcast yeah. of laughter. Yes, exactly. That's all it is. Um, and to re- to get into the insides of that grain, the insides okay. of the grain is or the flour inside the grain is what we're trying to get to, and. Uh, we add hot water to that grain. Yeah. Depending on the temperature that we put that water in, we can do different things with the, with the, with with our with that uh, grain. So we mix the grain with hot water. It's called the mash. Okay. Uh, we typically mash around 150, give or take. The the higher you go, the less fermentable it is. The lower you go, the more fermentable it is. Uh, we let that sit for about an hour, and we drain off that liquid. That liquid is called wort. Okay. And then we take that wort, we boil it, we add hops to it. Uh, we cool it down, we put it in the fermenters, and then we add yeast to it. And that's when our job is done and the yeast job begins. Awesome. And that's you said four to six weeks, right, for a lager is, is the approximate time. So. Approximate, yeah, approximate time from grain to glass. And wort tastes super good. It right. can, yes. Yeah. It's very sweet. It's almost like sweet tea. Yes. So we might need to have that on it's, the show. It's point. like beer uh, yeah. tea. Grain to glass like is our next podcast. The, the th- I just, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's I've, cool. I know quite a few people that like to take wort and add a little bit of whiskey to it. There you go. Really? Yeah. yeah. You, yeah. You've heard of people. I feel like yeah. I, 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 feel I, like I, I could right. be that I might people. have done that a few times in, in the home brewing, you know. I mean, yeah. well, so, you know. A cold yeah. day? Yeah. It's a cold day in we January? We don't judge here. No. <laughs> no. We're we part only, of We are those really people. Good. We so encourage you. and we request. Experimental. Experimental behavior. Uh, we, let's get the next beer. Yeah. What's what's next on the lineup here? What do we have? So... Possibly the Marson. Possibly. No, yes. Possibly. Oh. This is an unmarked can. That oh, we're yeah. So it's a surprise. We have here. A, I like this. I like I it. It's like I that actually, lollipop thing where you're like, what this is, is I'm this? Not exa- we're not exactly sure. We I'm know not going to lie. Is. This, is, uh, this is very intriguing now. Yeah. yeah. Mystery is. beer. But it we is 5-6. It is 5-6. And it was canned on 3-6. Okay. So we're using the glasses. It's a surprise. We're using these? Yeah. Yes. It's possibly a Marson. It's possibly an alt beer. We'll find out real quickly. All right. Whatever it is, it's a dang good beer. So, yeah, wow. dude. Yes, here it goes. Trying to decide which one's been my favorite this far. Um, yeah. It's tough. It's a tough. Very hard tie decision. For me. It's gonna be weird. What do you find? Mm. That looks like the old beer. <laughs> Dara is looking at it, surveying it. Marcus okay putting his whole beer. nose into the beer right now Sorry. for people who aren't. It's a big nose too. To see. <laughs> it's, I'm pretty sure. Mark's nose is so now, medium sized. <laughs> <laughs> We have listeners who can't what? see us. Yeah, that is I true. Hear, that is true. I didn't really good? Good? I'm good. I'm good. We're all wearing this. I'm trying to knock this glass over, over to make Wait, this more are, exciting. Here, over there. No. Oh, I was like, I'm not what? trying. Oh, oh, I thought we were get, trying to get me to share. Get and I was out like, of here. No. Mm. So, all right. Is this all beer? You said? I, I yeah, it. Is it all oh beer? <laughs> that is totally the all beer. Yeah, we're sniffing the beers really hard. You can't see us. It smells great. Okay, cheers. Okay, cheers. Oh, to the right. bottom. Cheers. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, cheers, bottom. As Mark said earlier, we cheers to the bottom. The table. Prost. What? Yeah. Prost. So, Prost. And the other thing you're supposed to do is look people in the eye when you. That you always throw. wears me yeah. out. Uh, right. Here we but, go. Yeah, it's not Turn when you drink, but when you make it awkward. How about that? <laughs> Are my fake eyelashes looking cool like right now? I like making things mm-hmm. awkward. They're fake people. Looking just wonderful. They're fine. Just, just, we're going to admit it. do it. So. Oh, okay. So. There you go. That is delicious. Thank you. So, Ooh, what is an darker. alt beer? What's d- yeah. a, a, describe an alt beer? What's what does that make it different from uh, the other ones we the Pilsner and yeah. the, that we've had? Well, the alt beer is actually an ale. Okay, so that's no. the very first thing, and it's an ale that's that's fermented at a little bit cooler temperature than most ales, so it's okay. kind of like a hybrid, is what they call it. But it's basically like a, a brown ale, like a North Brown ale, a little yeah. bit more hoppy, hoppy, hoppiness to it than a North Brown ale. It has an accent. Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. <laughs> a Northern. No, a Northern. <laughs> what are you, Duck oh, Commander? Was, are you beer? <laughs> I'm like kind of Louisiana. Yeah, I might have been beer Louisiana. commander now is what you are. I'm from the north part of Louisiana. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I got family down there. Big family, exactly. I so. don't. I don't. <laughs> Good story, bro. Good story, bro. That's right. That's so. So alt beer is a hybrid beer. It's a hybrid beer. Yes. Okay. Hybrid beer. And it's it's like a a, a, a hoppy uh, brown ale. Okay. That's right. how you describe it. So very, and and, and I this think that's an great. extremely accurate. Uh, description of it's it very brown. N- in color and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get her so brown. <laughs> 
I'm just being honest for our listeners who cannot see us because they're yes. listening to us. It is. It is very brown. It's very yeah. dark. It's beautiful. And, um, this is my favorite. Yeah, I mean, so like far. we're holding up to the studio light, and I, I can't lie. I can barely see some light coming through, which is great. Yeah. I mean, I like that. I like a good rich beer. So, <laughs> so okay. So let me ask you this one: Have you guys had while while you're brewing all these different types of beer? Uh, has there been just one horror story of a beer that you're just like, oh, oh yeah. no, God, that is horrible? Yeah, or maybe like brewers uh, um, like all think like this beer is an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Is, that's a great way to put it. Yeah, I some like beers that. could probably be assholes. We don't like want people. assholes to reach the market. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. agreed. Yeah, we so, dump assholes down the drain. Yeah, so <laughs> we, we have we have dumped a couple beers down the drain yeah. because we don't want to, you know. Yeah. We don't want to deal you with You don't that. want other people no. to experience no. that. All right. No. Fantastic. Yeah. No. So good news, guys. Uh, in no case you're joining us right now, uh, yeah, there are no assholes that made it into the brewing line. Uh, and natural also, state. the Natural State is looking out for you because they won't serve you crappy beer. Yeah. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah. 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 Wait, but is there, like, is there like a beer that's like just known to all brewers that that beer is not, not easy? Ooh. Mm. I mean, to, to me, any well-made beer is a good beer. Yeah. Depending okay. on the style. Now, some people may have their mm-hmm. favorites, but for mm-hmm. me, you know, any any well-made beer I'll drink and I'll enjoy because I understand Absolutely. what it is. Yes. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I think that's a, a big part of the brewing community as well is, is once you become educated on this is what it should taste like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you start understanding because, you know, you have people, I'm sure you guys have people come to you all the time. And, you know, it's it's a very common factor in, in people saying, oh, I just don't like beer. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, you don't like that kind of beer well, that you, you have. Yeah. You don't you like know. that different flavor. Yeah. You don't like the, the different style of brewing or, or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and so, yeah, they, they're... There's a lot of opportunity there. It's yeah. a, it's a fight that all craft brewers deal with because Absolutely. eighty percent of the population thinks beer is uh, you know a domestic lager. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and and they don't realize well, that there's they, other flavors yeah. that you can bring to the table. The I mean, only mm-hmm. thing they've ever had is I won't say their name, but it rhymes with floodlight. Yeah, um, and yeah. so <laughs> it's you know they they're used it to it being water. a. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. What? But it, but it, you know yeah. it. it that's their. That's most people's college introduction, yeah. or right. or their 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 earliest yeah. memory of beer it. has yeah. to deal with one of the the larger yeah. breweries, and so they don't understand the flavor that you guys can bring uh, yeah. from from nice. changing. Like you're saying, the the temperatures, the different kind of yeast that you use, the different. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've I've heard stories of people using strains of yeast from 150, 200, 300 years old. Um, which is incredible. And uh, spoiler alert, we're going to have them on the show uh, in future episodes as well. Um, but uh, that said, you, people don't understand how much that it can actually introduce different it's a flavors. It's challenge yeah. to accept yeah. to people who only like flood like <coughs> yeah. or yeah. beers yeah. as such. Flood and Mike. you get to introduce them to... Yeah. Like oh, a new way of life, and completely. then they kind of get to know it and understand yeah. it, and they're like, "Oh my, I actually do like beer." Yeah. yeah, I always tell people, "I'm like, you just haven't met the beer that you love yet. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Just, exactly. it, it's yeah. out there, it's waiting for you." And then I like to play a game of like, "Well, do you yeah. like this?" And they're like, "I like the way that tastes." I'm like, "Well, do you like this?" And then it becomes this like map. Uh-huh. And I'm like, then you need a like, oh, you do have all these flavors. <laughs> there are like, there are yeah. plenty of brews in the in the cooler. In yeah, the it's, yeah. It's like the dating game for beer. Well, I think a lot of people have written off beer really early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, and that's and that's and that's sad because there's there's so many different flavors that you can bring. Yeah. Well, and and I think another thing, you know, for me, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I definitely grew up in a, a very conservative town, very conservative family, and uh, and so the idea of you know uh, of alcohol is is obviously a, a kind of a hesitance in certain circles uh, but i think you know what i really love seeing about natural state and the other brewers here in northwest arkansas is how they're making making it accessible they're making mm-hmm. it uh something you know your tap room i know, you know my son has been there uh that right. he's he's eight years old uh he's you guys drinking early yeah well they got him on the root beer <laughs> so, yeah, which so is good yeah. so, so we've got you know and you get the cool color changing mugs i was gonna say beer, so, so so we have this what? by the way yes. so i don't know if uh, yeah if you're yeah. looking at this right here <laughs> I don't know where to you look. can see behind we have this wonderful uh oh, color changing mug uh, no, you can't use it. Let me Sorry. On it. No. It, only ch- it only changes color at forty degrees. When so it's that's cold. so that's how you yeah. tell it's cold in, in the studio. <laughs> so so but but that's another fun thing for yes. you though. Making making yes. 
craft yeah. beer accessible doesn't just extend to the people like myself who are 21 plus. Um, the fact is, you guys have an environment that that nurtures the whole family. Yes. So you know, my kid can be in there. You guys have root. Tell us about that. Like, how how did you guys settle on root beer? What was the what was the thought behind that? We wanted to hook them early. No, I'm just kidding. Sweet. <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> no, we get their version of beer. Yeah. No, we, wa- we wanted it to be fun for the entire family. Mm-hmm. Something where the, the, the kids would enjoy going to, yeah. uh, as well as the adults. So yeah. give something for them to look forward to, uh, uh, you know, as well as dad and mom. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we've got games. We've got outdoor games that we just put a purchase. We've got a nice outdoor space. We've got operation, although I must admit that the, the the adults like the SpongeBob operation game more than the kids. They I literally mean, will fight for yeah, that. Yeah. I don't doubt you that yeah. awesome. at all. Yeah. Yeah. And also being right by the Greenway, I've seen parents bring their kids scooters yeah. or um, yeah. bikes or just have yeah. them yeah. run la- like yeah. run back and forth yeah. Yeah. right on the Greenway yeah. right beside our patio. Yeah, they get the yeah. wheels out. Yeah. Awesome. Cause, yeah. 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 They drink while they watch their kid yeah. run and their yeah. kid Are runs. Are you tired yet? All right, 30 more minutes. One out. Good to go. Okay, one more pint. Go I throw rocks that. on the lake. And yeah. see, see Daddy in a little bit. Then, you see that spot way out there. Yeah. I want you to, yeah. you don't come inside until you hit a rock in that. Yeah. All right, Daddy's run to going the fence back inside. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but no, that's that's great. I love the, the environment of, of how you guys are making it accessible. You're making mm-hmm. it great. Um, but yeah, so um, really quick, we're gonna. I'm gonna go back to the question yeah. that you were asking. You were talking about the science. science. Yeah, I love science. science. I know many of you probably science. are like, she doesn't like science. I love it. I, yeah, maybe let's talk about yeah. um, flavors. You know, because yeah. that's really what it boils down to. It's mm-hmm. like people decide, like, oh, I'm an amber person. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm a Kolsch person. Well, it's like tell us a little bit, like, may, or as much as you can about maybe the things that make it so delicious, because yeah. this is amazing. I'm, I'm I've liked even, all three, but this one has been my favorite. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna give, even go just a step further and say yeah. like, the home brewers who are watching, mm-hmm. help yeah. them understand, yeah, how do they, how do they, I mean, you don't give away your secret recipe, but yeah. but how do they make a beer that tastes like yours? You know, how, how does someone develop a beer that goes, oh wow, this is really good. Um, I think I'm gonna make it taste like, you know, I'm gonna brew one that I'm tastes like this. Oh, thunder. Perfect. I, I recommend I recommend lots and lots of research. Yes. Okay. Research yeah. Starting is good. off, you know, yeah. just come to our place, drink, you know, three or four a day, and then, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a doctor yeah. recommended yeah. amount. You yeah, know? exactly. <laughs> it keeps the coronavirus away. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But no. Too soon or no? Um, no? Okay. Mm. No, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> well, We're uh, all fine. And we, we drink. I'm yes. not saying that beer keeps the coronavirus away, <laughs> but we are all I'm healthy saying at it. this moment. Yes. True. Um, wood. I think a lot of wood. Yeah. I think lots that, of wood. So yeah, the, for home brewers, it's about going and exploring the styles. There's mm-hmm. so many different beers to choose from now, more than yeah. there ever will ever has been in history in North America. So yeah. cool. go out there and just explore the styles that you that you like, and then yeah. there's lots of literature out there to tell you how to brew these beers. Yeah. Um, there's you know uh, uh, John Palmer's How to Brew book is a book that I kind of used as my brewing bible and started you know from there, I and like it, he. I like He's a civil engineer as well, so we kind of, you know, he brought it down to my level to where I could kind of, you know, get into it as technically as I wanted to get into it. Yeah. Um, but one of the things that really drew me to brewing is the fact that it is this mixture of science and engineering mm-hmm. and art. Yeah. Right? yeah. You know, so that was kind of kind of fun because yeah. as an engineer, structural engineer, it's kind of a stressful job Monday through Friday. So on Saturday and Sunday, I can go brew in the garage. You know, on the evening I can. Hello. Well, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. I, For those of you who don't know, we have, we have a dog in the uh, studio. We, got our, we can take care of the dogs dog. and feed them. No, we can. <laughs> Actually, dogs are welcome, right? I yeah, mean, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we have a dog friendly patio. Thank Ooh, you for hey, that cue. That's important. Yeah. Yes, to yes, yes absolutely. That. And we, on any yeah. weekend day, there'll be half a dozen puppies out there. Well, and, and that's a great thing oh about the Northwest Arkansas community. Dogs, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like people love their dogs here. So yeah. what you're saying is you know, keep it clean and do your research, really. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's like, what it comes you down gotta to. you got to make sure to... Yeah, I mean, you yeah. need to figure out what what kind of styles yeah. you want to brew and go from there. I mean, yeah. it's just that's such a broad question. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. how could you ask me such a question? I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean... Brian, you really messed up. It is a broad one, and that's okay. I mean, I like broad, but, you know... <laughs> well, guys, I tell you what, um, I have absolutely thoroughly enjoyed every, every bit of this. Yeah, um, so, which is it's there been a okay. favorite of yours? <laughs> favorite of mine? Well, well I, mean, I was saying, like, do we let them dare yeah. us? Uh, no. Dare us? Yes. Dare yes. Us? No, I want yeah. To dare. I'll say, I yeah. do like I want to dare, 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 like, truth or dare. dare. 
Oh, yeah. yeah we got to come back to that. You can do that to us if you'd like to. Yeah. Yes. And then See. we have a couple of things we would also Ooh, like to do. All right. All right. <laughs> yes. So, and we do have another, some another portion to the show here. You know, like I mentioned a while ago, we have a very clean beer fridge behind us. Yes. Oh. yes and it needs yes. to change. Yep. This so. it does. So, truth or dare? All right. Oh, yeah, that phrase. You tried it. I saw that. You tried to get God bless beer. you. I'm going for dare. <laughs> oh, dare. Right, right now. Oh, wow. wow. You're well, looking you said, you said you would think about I'm hoping there's dare. another can over here somewhere. I mean, I'm, pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty athletic. Let's go. Yeah. Right. yeah. 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 Um, do we have any beer left? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope so. I mean, oh, this is. Might, do we have any oh, in there? No. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. All right. We have so consumed it all. What is the most daring thing you have done while drinking? Oh, that's oh, old. Yeah, right. mine's Have you ever become too. invincible to fire? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. That's a, that's, no. a, that's a different level. That's Sunday. Right. That's Sunday. That's funny. You well, guys, that's all the time. <laughs> no, I feel like this is funny because, like, you had mentioned earlier a little bit of Jaeger. Yeah. yeah. I oh, once, yeah. Jaeger. you know, same. Yes, Jaeger got me. Yeah. Um, and I was on the lake, and there mm. was uh, sea dews. And Ooh. I just remember thinking back you know on the monday thinking i survived the weekend yeah um anyway that i don't i don't need to go into too much detail but i became very adventurous on a sea do i was like <laughs> i'm invincible i can do whatever and i had lots of bruises the next day so <laughs> jaeger we love Kids. you you're great and it, someone actually told me that like, the coronavirus jaeger is good for that because there's like 52 like, like in an actual you, yeah there's like 52 sense. pieces yeah. of ingredients that are like healthy and, and holistic there are a lot of the herbs yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah. there in the morning yeah, yeah. yeah exactly it's like waiting for you yeah. like hello yeah. i'm still here remember me <laughs> still yeah here. yeah i remember last night yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm really anyway you. i i feel like it's funny vulnerability <sighs> makes you stronger but so yeah jaeger was weird for me but i became very adventurous and i think i probably could have had like a show yeah, an MTV yeah. show by then. Yeah. I was like hopping stuff on a sea do. Anyway, let's go. Oh man, for me, <laughs> I tell you what. So you said the most adventurous thing, the most, most daring, most thing. daring yeah. thing. Daring. Oh goodness. Daring. Um. Well, let me see. I count the times. Um, <laughs> Thirty-seven. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's that's close. I would yeah. say pretty much. Uh, any, any time that there is ever alcohol involved and then you decide to take your debit card to a casino, oh. um, let's just say <laughs> I'm there. very thankful that I ended up coming away from that one up instead of down. instead of down because yeah, it yeah. could have gone very horribly, uh, especially as a very broke college kid. Oh, um, the best. So let's just say that that was, uh, yeah, uh, my, my buddy Joel, I've got to give him a shout out. Uh, by the way, he's fighting for our freedom right now. So oh, love, we here okay, on that, on that. Yeah, natural state. <laughs> we, uh, we here on Beyond the Tap. We've completely we, uh, taken over the show. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to head out. You guys enjoy the rest of your studio. And, uh, yeah. No, but, you know, that's yeah. one of those things. We definitely support those who are uh, defending us. And so, yeah. and um, we do things when we, sometimes we do adventurous things when things happen with Absolutely. Things. Stick around because we're on season one right now, and this is episode one. So <laughs> yeah, we've already yeah, opened the door. And believe really me, weird. I feel like, like we're gonna coin hashtag shenanigans uh, what was the again. Other hashtag? What was the other hashtag that we did earlier? Oh, I don't know. Grain to glass. Grain to glass. Oh, grain to glass. glass. Yeah, yeah. See. And uh, and then something millennial like. I think I said the word "soch" earlier. I'm Participation sure. trophy. Yes. So, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my one bad. One thing we would like to do for you guys before we end. Sweet. Yes, we love is, gifts. We want to make you honorary mug Ooh. club member. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. There you go. This is such an honor. Members this here. Big mug. I've been practicing well, thank for you. this Stein <laughs> So to drink out of in the tap room. So this and is so bigger than a regular glass, right? It is. Yes. It's so the mug like, club, you pay the same price. For 16 ounce, but you get 20 ounces. You see that? Yo, this is a beautiful. Social, like, you put that mug down on the table yeah. while you're. Yeah. People will show up yeah. It's like, a man's mug. Right I'm <laughs> telling you, right here. Mug. Or one. Woman, it's men's mug. mug. It's substantial. It's a beer drinker's mug. That's what that is. Mug. It's, just, it's a person mug. It is a beautiful mug. And um, honestly, this is, such, this is so great. Hey. Thank you so and much. And then we also have. Go over here. Okay, all right. All right, she's going off camera, guys. She's going off camera. So, So for you, we have a beanie. Oh, I love beanies. beanies. I feel like I'm a beanie person. A natural state. There you go. Well, thank you. We also have a shirt for you. Thank you. I I feel like I'm a beanie person. (laughs) Am I a beanie person? I have a big head, but don't tell me. No, it looks good. It looks good. I feel like we should go skiing now. I just feel like I should just walk outside. Can we drink on the slopes? Yeah. What? Yeah, we can put beers in our. 
spaces. That'd be good. That you may is, not have the same spaces. Uh, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> different spaces well, for different places. Well, well folks. <laughs> I'm excited though. Y'all, thank you so much for the gifts. Yes. You're welcome. No, seriously. Beer in space. <laughs> beer in spaces. Okay. That's going to be better than beer in crevices. I, <laughs> oh, I studied. I, yeah, so I'm a right go. brain, folks. Yay. Ooh, yeah. yeah. See? This is my color. I like how you're the brighter yes. one. Nice. Yes. There we go. Yeah. I'm yes. definitely Looks good on you guys. Yes. Thanks, yeah. guys. Y'all are great. No, this was so much. You're welcome. Really, this show is just about us making new friends. We force you yeah. all to be our friends. Yeah, really. <laughs> we put a microphone well, we like yes. it. Yeah. Because we yeah. give you beer. And then we <laughs> like beer. We like shirts. We, we like mugs. It. We like the camaraderie. Yeah, here, and I love so. the, I like the deep dive of knowing absolutely. what makes you. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, it makes you you. All right. Well, there's yeah. one thing left. Sorry, clapping oh, yeah. in my audio there. Clap but we've got one less, uh, one one thing left to do here. Mm-hmm. Is that the one? Is that the chosen one? This is the chosen. All right. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna get out of the way that. here because this is a yeah. historic moment. Oh, for, you know, is that pretty? Oh wait. I mean, yeah. like, I mean you, just, you just, just go, go after, after it, man. Yeah. yeah. Woo! We got our very first sticker <laughs> our very first on sticker the beer reel. fridge. So, guys, yeah. Yeah. I think that about wraps up our Beautiful. first episode of Beyond the Tap. Thank you all so much for joining us here. Yeah. Uh, not only do we want to continue to give a shout out to our, our sponsor set, he, uh, Eco Vet. Um, <laughs> Set sponsor that thing. Lots of wood. So <laughs> Lots I of promise wood. the beer is not. <laughs> All right, yeah. EcoVet is our set sponsor, guys, and we also have Tawny Town Winery, Natural State Brewing Woo! Company, and uh, beer company, brewing company. You guys beer, brew beer, Just and uh, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us on episode one. Yay! Woo! Thanks for having us, guys. Yes. Hey, thank tell you, you what, so much. we'll see y'all next time. All right. I'll All see right. you Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much for everyone who watched, listened, hung out with us tonight. We are so happy that we were able to do this. Uh, If you have not left us a review on Apple Podcasts, please do that and subscribe to us. And just stay tuned because there's more where that came from because of who are our sponsors. Uh, So uh, big shout out to Natural State Beer Company for being here with us tonight. Also, we do have our set sponsor, EcoVet, who made all this happen, including this gorgeous bar that we have. And our shelf sponsors, Tiny Town Winery and natural state beer company so stay tuned next time and we will see you whenever we sit down with apple blossom brewing company out of fayetteville arkansas y'all have a great night yeah see you later